Hi friends, a very good evening to all of you and a warm welcome on madhvisluxury.co. I hope you all are keeping safe and uh, let's just pray the world to heal and especially India to heal at this time. And as you all know, today is in Positive Initiative Talk Show Part 2. It's a Sunday special with Mother's Day celebrations with Raja Radha Reddy Ji Kuchipudi family where luxury meets with Dr. Radha Reddy, Kaushalya Reddy, moms with their beautiful daughters yamini and bhavna reddy let's uh, speak uh, let's speak spread uh, let's spread strength positivity by being strong positive with strong social system of each other and let's all welcome the family i'm just waiting for the family to join us on this special day of mothers day and a very very happy mothers day to all the mothers and everyone So just waiting for them to join, joining us. Hi, Yamini. Hi. hi. And hi, Radha Ji, Ashula Ji, and Bhavna. Welcome. To so, so nice to see you. And uh, Radha Ji and Ashula Ji, lovely people, sunny colors, and Bhavna. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> Sunita is saying happy Mother's Day to you all. Yes, a very happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. And I would like to, before we start with the conversation, I would like to wish my mom a very happy Mother's Day on a social media platform also. I've already wished her, but she always watches my shows and it's such a pleasure. We got bonded even more in the lockdown because last year, last year I started with, uh, you know, interviewing some uh, celebrities from all over the world and we have been in constant touch she has been watching my shows we discuss about it we talk about it so it's a huge bonding that we have around the show and before we start with the show i would like to start with a small song tera mangal mera mangal sab ka mangal ho जिस जननी ने जन्म दिया उसका मंगल हो just few lines to give a tribute to our moms and now we'll start with the conversation i would come to the daughters bhavna and um, uh, yamini so yamini uh, and bhavna this goes to both of you i would like to share i would like you to share all that you can talk about your mom all that you can speak about your mom today on a special day like mother's day whatever you would like to speak about your mom so uh, we go with bhavna well um you know i think they they're like uh, i used to call them double trouble when i was younger <laughs> so, <laughs> but now I feel like it's, you know, it's always double, double the trouble, double the love. They're a perfect combination. One balance the, uh, balances the other out, you know. So it's like Kaushalami is like the perfect friend. And then Radhakami is the perfect listener. And then, you know, Kaushalami will take care of all the oh, running around and everything. Radhakami will take care of all the food and all that. So together, I think we get double the pampering and double the trouble. So. <laughs> Yes, I, I think yeah. both uh, both moms are very different personalities, and they bring very different uh, things to our lives. I feel so. There is no overlap there, and uh, because of uh, both of being, them being who they are, I think we've learned so many good qualities from them. Radha Mami is so compassionate and hardworking. And then you have Kaushalya Mami, who's so dynamic and fun loving and energetic. And she really knows how to hold the entire room. So there's so many different qualities uh, for us. Having two mothers means double the qualities, the double the things that we have learned from them. And I think we are grateful mm -hmm. for that in our lives because it's always been um, you know, uh, nice that way that we got so much love. And at the same time, we got so much uh, strictness also because if you made a mistake, you, would, you have to hear it twice at least from two different people. First from one mom and once you think you're done with that, and then you have to hear it again from the other mom also. So <laughs> it's like that. Beautiful. Lovely. And I think uh, we all know that you've taken the best of both the moms. Uh, all the best qualities have gone to both of you. And now I would like to come on to the mother. Like how do you feel your life changed over the period of years with their growing up years? Kaushalya ji. 
sorry come again what did you say but how do you feel that your lives changed over the period of years when they were growing up till now uh, actually i have always uh, i always wanted my children to be my friends can you be a little louder i said i was very particular about my children being uh, my friends because one uh, my sister was my guardian and she was absolutely strict and i didn't want <laughs> <laughs> so in all process, what I did was I was we became friends. It was fun uh, because I was uh, trying to be friendly with them, enjoy their childhood, be a child with them, play with them, uh, be a loving mother, fun loving mother, playing mother. So it was, and over the years also I've learned. That I lost track of my age and what I was. Like my younger daughter was saying, "Ma, please, you be your age. You need to be more sober. You can't be like us. You have to be different. You are grown up now." So Yamini was never saying that. Yamini and myself is not much of a difference. I think we are just eighteen years apart. So Yamini and I are. Uh, Uh, I think uh, we understand each other very well. Bhavna is more uh, trying to tick me off, trying to tell me to be more mature and more uh, mellow. She was saying, "Don't laugh so loudly. You're the loudest in the party." So all those things I got to learn from my daughters. But it has been lovely, lovely. I love my kids. I think it was fun. Yeah, and a very I nice. I enjoyed uh, doing this with my grandson now. I love playing with my grandson. How oh, sweet! Yeah, oh, sweet. I love playing. I love children actually. Yeah, so that's really uh, nice, and uh, I think a very good message to all the mothers out there that we should try be friends with our uh, you know daughters and children because that gets you closer to them and they can share and open up with you and everything. That's a very nice tip that you've given to all of us. A lot of people are wishing a happy Mother's Day, looking lovely, lady. Happy Mother's Day, and love Yamini in a mask. Let me be the lingo saying that. And uh, Radha ji, I would like to ask you the same question that I put up for Ashish ji. Same thing. How have the growing years been for you? This girl growing up. Yeah, Radha ji, can you hear me? Not able to hear you. Yeah, because uh, we can barely catch what you are saying. There is a lot of disturbance when you are speaking. Oh, is that so? Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So I would ask the same question to Radha Ji. How do you feel that your lives changed over the period of years when they are growing up? Yes. When Yamini was born, then our life complete change. Um, Dancing family to uh, dancing uh, duo to family, Yamini. Yeah, Then uh, I love my daughters. They are both of them very good children, very good natures. बहुत प्यार करते हैं मेरे को. I should tell you one thing. Uh, Yamini and I connect more. Bhavana and, connect me. Yeah, and Radha Kama and Bhavana they very close. They understand each other very well. Yamini and me understand each other very well. So it's like uh, we have a different equation. अलग अलग है दोनों का. But the, our children has changed our perspective towards life. Nature, nature, nature. They have mellowed nature. us. We were too busy in our life, uh, too driven towards towards our arts. But uh, they have brought a lot of love and affection into our life. So our world totally changed from the uh, artistic world where we were totally immersed and lost to a family life, which was giving a different dimension to our life. After uh, two daughters, when they come to our our life, then our uh, complete we changed the artist to uh, family life. Yeah, we enjoyed very much. Then they they are very small. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we started practice to look no very very well brought up daughters i must say and they are also lucky to get such lovely moms both the girls i'm sure they're lucky and you are lucky as well so now i would like to come to the uh, daughters actually i would like to ask you that um, in face of your mom you know uh, that that had in your thoughts uh, thought process in your growing up years what is the influence that your mom had in your thought process in your growing up years both of them to both of you yamini and kavna this question goes to both who would like to start reply yeah, first i'll, I'll, I'll go first yeah so uh, I, i think uh, like i said earlier also that you know there are different personalities and they brought so many different things to our life uh, for example uh, growing up i used to see radha mummy she uh, now you know because i have a family of my own and i have a son i really i have more appreciation for my moms i think because now i am a mother and i know how difficult it is and i really appreciate the fact that you know uh, radha mummy also for that matter she used to balance the house and then she used to balance her practice it's really hard in terms of doing it as a dancer because they were tremendously physically demanding things so how hard working and dedicated she was i learned that from her and then as a child when i was very young i used to be a little shy i didn't like to uh, go out much uh, you know so i think uh, kaushalya mummy kind of pulled me out of my shell there and she i still remember very tomboyish there was a time when a phase when i used to wear only gray i didn't wear anything else gray t-shirts with jeans gray t-shirts with jeans one day she dragged me out and she said you are going to wear buy something other than gray and then she took me to the store and she bought me like rust color and pink color and red color and she said you are going to wear these colors from now on no more gray so you know things like that uh, she kind of developed my personality uh, and uh, she made me you know a more social person and she she really taught me how to be friendly and loving and uh, and the, the, so there's all different and i used to also remember kaushalya mummy she used to be in charge of our studies the studies part is something that kaushalya mummy took care of and oh my god like just from fourth grade to fifth grade we did such numerous things and we got so many scoldings from her it's incredible i used to hide my answer sheets she used to go and find them then i used to get a scolding i used to uh, not when i was little i would not write i would get one back on the hand one back on the cheek so it used to be interesting so she took care of all of that but i I'm, i'm glad she pushed me and i am who i am today because of all of that and all everything that both of them did for me it's uh, i am a sum total of how they are you know eventually so i am what the sort of mother i am today is thanks to them bhavna well i mean it's hard to have a different thing to say but i think um i think um, it's just i think i've learned a lot about hard work and a lot about passion and a lot about um like i've seen i've seen them work day in and day out you know and i've i've seen how none of it is like it used to feel like it was a part of their being so i think the entire understanding of who an artist is and what an artist's life is and how to move forward and how to live it i think the only reason why we're able to ride the waves that are coming our way is because we got to see them do it um i mean i think that way it's it's been a privilege because there's a lot of hardships that an artist faces and i feel that seeing them fight through that day in and day out and just not pay heed to anything and just go there i've seen radha kumami's nails break she's bleeding i you know i i heard stories of her falling off the stage and going back and dancing so there's so many things that we've seen 
and heard like that that i think uh, have really really inspired us and shown us that that when you want to do something sky is the limit i mean not when it just comes to achieving but also achieving the best version of yourself and um, and and through all this um, i've also learned a lot from you know um, like for instance kaushal mummy the whole idea of discipline because she would take care of us when it, like my sister said our studies and everything the whole idea of discipline and the whole idea of how we should use our time i think i owe to her because you know like she would always be like okay you finish your homework and then you go and play and you know and then she would assign all these activities you know we would learn music and we would learn arts and we would learn you know and then dancing of course but there was always so many things that in fact uh if there's an environment that was created it's all thanks to them and it's we are today who we are because of them everything like even now when i'm like oh i wish you know some people say i wish i started singing when i was a kid i wish i started dancing when i was a kid you know we don't have such complaints thanks to them so i'm very 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 grateful for that beautiful very very inspiring and uh, motivating uh, moms for sure and uh, they believe in holistic <laughs> development putting you into all the activities so you have no regrets of not doing something that probably children have it sometimes you know that they didn't get to do that so that's amazing wonderful and now i would like to come to kaushila ji and radha ji i would like to ask you that how did you manage work life balance that's like you know being in such a committed profession and bringing up daughter so beautifully how did you manage to do that so nicely i manage housework kaushila managed to manage office if you can be closer to the mic you know actually i manage house house work kaushal i manage to office work that is why we derived actually our actually what happened was uh, when we decided to have children uh, raja ji was very clear about one thing he said that uh, having children means commitment and not neglecting or leaving them to nannies he said we have to also make sure that we give personal attention and he was very clear about another thing that our children will not go to boarding so these aspects were very clear in the beginning before we started a family and um, once uh, the children came into our life they, everything just fell into place actually we just divided our work we planned our career we changed our whole life uh, timetable Uh, in such a way that we were able to devote time to our children like our children would go uh, to school in the morning at 8 o'clock immediately we would start our rehearsals by 2 in the afternoon we should uh, we used to make it a point to finish it and i used to make it a point to go if in town i go and pick up my children from school then come home have lunch together then in the evening we used to make it a very collective kind of a uh, Uh, evening like our children would be involved in our teaching so we started teaching after our children were born also so it was like we were involving our children we were planning everything around our children yet at the same time we were keeping up a profession because that was the first passion and our love of our life then uh, of course uh, it was not very easy because uh, uh, there were times it would be very difficult like when we had to travel for instance when uh, when uh, when i was expecting my uh, uh, baby so i realized that that was the day um, uh, um, uh, raja ji and radha ji had a show and they had to go for a show and i had to be sent to the clinic to the hospital so uh, then uh, uh, the doctor was with them he was at the same concert and he said uh, raja ji aap hospital mein kya kar rahe hain and uh, raja ji said my wife is delivering so uh, the um, doctor said i thought your wife was dancing with you he said that is my dancing wife and this is the other wife who is delivering so it was not very easy for him also you know for them also uh, to balance it for us to balance it 
like when I had to be discharged from the hospital after delivery also, they went to Baroda for a show. They came that morning, next day morning, to discharge me from the hospital and they, they went out of country. So it has been, we planned everything in such a way that we would have a family life going on simultaneously with not much hurdles and our career continued. Even the, our foreign tours, when we were, we used to travel for four, four months, six, six months, we used to be out of country. But once our children came into our world, we, we changed our style of traveling. Like we would always plan our, uh, uh, the tours uh, during summer vacations or winter vacations. So that because our children were also performers, they were also performing at a very tender age. Yami yeah, started uh, dancing at four and a half, so was Bhavna. So they used to be part of a travel and a tour and a presentations. And my husband was very, uh, uh, being a choreographer, he would choreograph in such a way that our children would be part of productions. So it was beautiful. In fact, we loved it. I, we didn't even realize that we were actually managing and doing things. We were loving every minute of it. And our children are really a darling. They never complained. They were they also very, very good. They also very hard work. Uh, yeah, they're very docile and very yes. good. good. Yes. Like for instance, my children, when they passed out of school also, I think um, uh, it was like, they would do a show, fly down, give their board exams. <laughs> and uh, the board exams would get over. Then it would, it would be like we were traveling Europe or America. And it was their uh, college uh, admission times. They would do it on their own. We were never around to help. So my husband used to say, our children are capable and they can do it. They managed everything on their own. And they were very good. Our children have been very good. Very, very lucky. Very, yeah. Very... Uh, understanding kids, not at all naughty, not at all uh, troublesome kids. That would have been, been pain, in fact. No, they were not. Yeah, very interesting to know this. And I think it's been all about uh, tremendous understanding in the family and also a lot of adjustments, time management, balancing it out beautifully. And uh, actually, uh, you know, sometimes I really wonder, like my mom used to run a full fledged school. She was a principal of a school and she would make sure that at the lunchtime she's there to give us lunch and uh, she would be available with us despite of a busy schedule. And I wonder that whether uh, me as a daughter is even half as good as her. So I want to ask this question to Yamini and uh, the both of you, you know, that uh, do you ever feel this, that you are half as good as your mom or you're better than your mom's uh, Bhavna and Yamini? Can you just uh, tell us about Well, I think it's a very different generation. It's very hard to say who's more hardworking, who's not hardworking. But I think I think that we lack the kind of, um, I think there's a lot more distractions in life these days. And I sometimes I think, that, you know, you know, in the weak moments, I'll be like, you know what, I don't think I'll ever measure up to them. I don't think I can ever, I don't think. And then sometimes I'll be like, oh, mom would have done this. And that pulls me out of it. So, <laughs> you know, so I don't know. It's very hard to say, but that was a different kind of um, hard work and dedication, which I think, I think it's completely different these days. It's it's very hard to say. I don't know what my sister has to say about that. Yeah, definitely we are not as good as our moms. I can tell you that much. Uh, I think they're... Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. You're on mute. Madhvi, <laughs> Auntie, um, you're on mute. Yeah. yeah. I said I always yeah. feel about... You know, feel like that about me. So I'm not sure if other moms and young moms also feel like that. No, you know, it's uh, they're so loving and they're so compassionate and they're so generous. Whether they're as gurus, or as teachers, as artists, or as mothers, and these are very important qualities. I think that's one of the, one of the most important quality as a mother, and. Uh, uh, and also, we are very young right now and hoping that at that their age, we will get there sometime. 
yeah, but um, when you become a mom, I've always felt that it opens up another dimension of you, which you yourself didn't know existed. So you just uh, suddenly you find this whole new dimension of you, and you realize you have these whole new set of limits that you can push, and uh, which you would have never known if you were not a mom. You know, if you're not a mom. And now I understand so many things that they did at the time that they did, and why they did it, and how they did it. It's all come more into perspective. Yes, uh, definitely we will strive to be as good as them. We are not there yet. We are still struggling in our own way. At the same time, we are our own individuals. We'll never be them. We'll never be able to replicate them. But the I always feel like I want to be as hardworking, compassionate, kind, generous as they are. That these are qualities I really want to imbibe in myself. That I find are so beautiful in both moms and uh, that's definitely somewhere i want to be later in my life for sure you are muted yeah as a very very well said and expressed and yes there is a long way to go and i would love to uh, i would like to come to kaushalya ji and radha ji now that uh, is it by choice that they chose the same profession or is it by hereditary it came to them naturally or uh, did they actually wanted to be into the same kuchipudi dance uh, you know profession as performing artists <laughs> I, i don't want to learn dance i don't want them to learn dance but they want to learn then i thought maybe god gift i, I don't say no then i said better you want to can learn but first you finish your education complete then you go and become a dancer otherwise no dancing mm -hmm. that is my view. actually we do not come from the background of uh, classical dance we come from a family which is uh, the ready community which is a zamindar family and uh, uh, raja ji was very passionate about dance he was mad about dance he ran away from home to become a dancer and radha ji's and raja ji's uh, they were wedded when they were really young so uh, it is like uh, dance chose us and uh, we are united also we and we are blessed also uh, that uh, god has given this privilege uh, has uh, given us the blessings to you know propagate and to teach and to perform uh, this beautiful art which we are very lucky though our didi didn't want her children to take up the same profession it's because it's difficult to profession it's dance. not very easy but very every difficult. parent would yeah. say about their own profession it's not very easy it's tough but uh, we are lucky our kids are uh, in the same profession they following in our footsteps and by god's grace they are doing very well for themselves uh, we are blessed i guess that's it that uh, i think uh, raju ji also had a important role when it came to dancing and the performing artists for sure and uh, i would like to ask you bhavna and yamini that uh, how has the pandemic I think it's. I think you. I can't hear properly. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, the your the cameras. Her feed is frozen. Okay. Mangoes, yeah. <laughs> 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 <
ஒருத்தங்க <laughs> 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 but i personally haven't seen my parents in more than a year i have not flown here from hyderabad to delhi in fact i had plans of uh, seeing them in april but they all got upended by the second wave and you know t- today i want to take this opportunity also to um, say a little prayer for all those people who have also lost their moms this year it has been very painful because i know so many people who have and i feel very sad about it and uh, i also feel lucky to have mine with me today but uh, yes the pandemic has definitely kept that physical distance between us but i think thanks to technology we are able to face time we are able to talk we are able to laugh once in a while but i do miss getting a hug from my moms and being with them in the same room i really miss that and uh, i just to really want to come and see them but i hopefully sometime soon this uh, situation gets better and i'm able to do that great uh, wonderful yamini and uh, now what do you have to say on this would um, like to know your yeah i think um, you know i think like my sister said it's it, it's a bond that you know it's always there you just can't um it's something that's always there but having said that i think uh, during the pandemic is when i stayed the stayed away the longest from them and uh, so i missed them the most that i've ever missed them in my life before <laughs> so cuz uh, i was in america and i was too scared to travel so i was like oh should i travel should i not travel and then by the time i took the decision i was so desperate to come see them and i think they were also so happy to see me so um so i remember dad was like i'll come and pick you up from the airport i said no don't do that and then um they were not supposed to meet me but then the day that i came i mean i'm saying this on social media and i do not recommend it to anybody but the day that i came they were there in the living room and they were like oh hi <laughs> you know i mean they sat like far away but they were like hi it was a complete okay. surprise so i think yeah. i think um, i think but then again it's been so hard in the sense that you know we're all either estranged we're all like either you know far away from our families or even for now like for instance i can't see them i'm in the same city i came all the way because i wanted to see them i can't see them right now so it's so it's things like that that can be tough during the pandemic and i think um and like my sister said also a lot of people um have had some losses and that's really tragic i think all of us are um going through something or the other you know and um i think it's nice that you know at this point of time they're not traveling i'm not traveling so i can trouble them as much as i want and they can trouble me as much as they want <laughs> so we have we have time so to see each other so that's a blessing that i i feel has come out of it yeah and pandemic surely has changed uh, the situation for to some extent for sure and koshala ji and radha ji i would like to ask you that how do you think uh, social media or technology helps you being connected with your children is it is it is it a good relief that social media is there you can be on video calls with your children even if she's in the us your daughter uh, one of them is married abroad but then you know you feel close by being at least on whatsapp video calls with each other so how technology plays a role Uh, actually uh, technology has uh, uh, you know broken the barrier hello can you hear me a uh, little bit actually it's a little uh, you know not very clear a lot of disturbance maybe you took me closer to the technology as yes as is a blessing right now in our lives because uh, thanks to the technology we are still connected we are able to talk to each other see each other and uh, we are able to you know discuss things and we are able to you know uh, at times 
we also you know try to make each other jealous by showing the dishes saying that this is what we prepared and what did you do and that's actually it has brought us together technology my so son we, my son calls up every time there's something yummy he's eating at home he first thing he does is he dials Uh, uh, the grandparents in Delhi, and he shows them. Look, today we are eating this. What have you cooked today for lunch? And then mom will give her list. And that's how they every, every time we have lunch or dinner, that's what he does. He calls them and says, "Today I had ice cream. You guys are not eating ice cream. They keep teasing each other." And they um, now, you know, I'll tell you something. There's no value for me here. They face time, and they only want to talk to my son. So sometimes I ask, "Do you even want to talk to me? Like really? Like do you even ask how I am, or do I exist here, or what?" No, the first thing they say, "Call up the phone to Arjun." That's the first thing that they'll say. Yeah, I think grandparents are more attached to the grandchildren. Uh, eventually, you know, they get more attached to the grandchildren. So that's a natural thing, I think. And Bhavna, uh, I would like to ask you that uh, it's been an unconventional family, and you've also got married to a foreigner who's not an Indian. So, do you think, uh, like, you know, you see any difference that he's more cooperative as a husband than the probably Indian husband, and uh, he's equally supporting you with your profession, your work-life balance, home? Um. Well, both of us are artists, so I think that helps. Wedding, by the way, I was there for your wedding. Ah, huh? uh, yeah, I, I know. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. you, you met him, except in in weddings, you don't really like get to spend so much time. But um, I think you know, being an artist, we get each other very well. You know, um, it's like coming from an artistic family. So I've seen the I've seen how art is like. the thing that's happening at like that's all that happens at home so that i feel um is really nice like when he goes at practices he'll sometimes practice at night you know and sometimes he, he, like he'll practice all day long and so that for me is like um it's nice because i get that i've seen my parents do that and mm -hmm. uh, he understands that because he does that so those things are nice and then i guess i guess also he is used to contributing more uh, you know in in uh, in chores and household things so luckily during the pandemic that's also been a blessing but i think um, my parents i think the way my dad is he's very he's very uh, he's very liberal like he's he's very much like he thinks about one thing and then he's very open minded in general like he's been very open with mom and, like both of them and uh, you know um he's never like dominating or i don't know he's a he's a different type of uh, person and mm -hmm. i see i think you know how they say that you you know the daughters go for men who are like their fathers i think mm -hmm. that's exactly what i did <laughs> and i think yeah. i'm very happy <laughs> yeah. wonderful and you rightly said you know generally it is said that when doctors get married to doctors they also have a very good phenomenal understanding because they understand the pressures of each other and they're they're used to that kind of uh, you know adjustments that a uh, professional life requires so i think same goes with both of you and uh, yamini i would like to ask you about women empowerment what do you feel especially in the pandemic times about the women empowerment i think the uh, pandemic has set back women a great deal uh, you know we were out there in the world doing so many things and i think uh, i can speak for many women especially in the indian society that we live in that uh, now we are straddled at home and we are straddled with double the work of uh, doing a lot of housework and especially even for mothers who have little children at home now even the education though there is virtual learning a lot of it has fallen upon the parents shoulders now to take care of that as well so this pandemic has set back there are numbers showing that there's a lot more domestic violence there is a lot more uh, uh you know um job losses for women and men and uh, the progress has definitely slowed down uh, at the same time i think there has been a, a upside also a lot i think women are seeing another side of their husband which they didn't earlier a lot of husbands are even stepping into help and doing a lot more housework and uh, helping out so yeah i think uh, women need to understand that they have to stand up for themselves whether it's at home or outside and they need to put their foot down when necessary and say that okay this works for me this doesn't work for me they have to learn to express themselves they have to learn to come to an understanding with their spouse 
that you know we need to share the workload or this is not working out for me and i think even people hiring like women and uh, getting the work done even they have to be kind of understanding in the situation so having said that i uh, i hope that it's not been too bad for most women and uh, they just need to be strong and hang in there i'm sure things will improve we have come such a long way from like 50 years back or 70 years back pre independence we've come so far for women in india i definitely hope that this pandemic doesn't set us back for too long absolutely we are all we are all praying for it and a good message to the audience uh, kaushal ji and radha ji i would like to ask you about one quality about your daughter each one i think uh, our children are very understanding they are very uh, uh, compassionate and uh, they are very hard working babies we love you you have uh, made us proud and we are very proud to have you as our daughters love you sweethearts love you too <laughs> Actually, they are our friends. In fact, they what are is the first thing? I literally we FaceTime every night at eight thirty and keep talking everything under the sun. So they are everything for me. They are my world. Okay, beautiful. May God bless the family. And Bhavna uh, and Yamini, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about your moms? Yamini and Bhavna. Uh, one word for uh, Radha Mami is like uh, very caring. Caring is the first word that comes when I one word if I had to say that defines a caring. And for Kaushalya Mami, it's a vivacious. Well said. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And Yamini. I think uh, for Kaushalya Mami, it's uh, fun. That's one word. She's really fun. And I think for Radha Kumami, it's um, she's she's like the symbol of uh, like grace and compassion. I think she's she's really something. So I think Kaushalya Mami is fun, and Kaushalya and Radha Kumami is very graceful. Well said. And Kaushalya ji and Radha ji, what is uh, you know what do you miss the most about uh, the girls or daughters when they're not around you? What is that you miss the most? I miss them in general. We miss them in general. We like to have our daughters around because it's in the same profession. We have same interests, same uh, uh, everything. So we like to be constantly in touch. I think beti I mean, always parai beti hoti hai. Isliye beti to bahut pyar hota hai. Beti to apna jaan hota hai. Mar apna jaan ko hum apna pas nahi rakh sakte. Hum dusre ghar mein unko bidai karna hi padega. Yet at the yeah. same time we like to have them with us all the time talking. I think uh, I would hate my day if I am not talking to them. If I don't talk to them, I miss shopping with my moms. Yeah, we uh, we all love shopping. Yes, we love uh, shopping this. together. We all love it, and yeah, I think that's shopping. something I miss. Yeah, in this pandemic time, we completely forgot about shopping. Can you believe it? Nowadays, now I forgot. Are you are you are you sure you forgot about shopping? <laughs> But I don't like it. I don't like online shopping. Nothing like seeing it in person. Hmm. Incident in your life that happened that touched your heart in these so many years. I think your voice is cutting, Auntie. We'll have to hear that again. Yeah, I would like to ask each one of you. About an emotional incident that you remember and that touched your heart. To each one of you, anybody could start first. Kaushalya ji, Radha ji. 
uh, both our kids, whenever they were unwell, Yamini was running 104 or 103 fever. And once it was the Bhavna also running uh, fever. In spite of that, they went on stage to perform. Yes, both of them. Yeah, it was like they were, it's, it's like our kids, you know, they really made us uh, cry at that time. We felt so bad that during their high fevers also, the show had to go on. And these that are the incidents. That show is very successful. Yeah. Yes. And we can never forget those. After the show, we cried. Yeah. We did. Sisters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely it very touching for the mothers. Yeah, it was in America. Both yes. the incidents were in America. Right, absolutely. Totally touching incident, I must say. Yeah. And at the same time, you see the dedication of your children, you know, being there on stage and performing, even at 103, 150 world. That's amazing. I think, and I think for me, um, I specifically remember when I was training for my Ranga Pravesham, and dad would have. Uh, me, <laughs> dad would have like uh, you know like Ranga Pravesha. Uh, so I would have practiced day and night and day and night, and dad would doesn't leave you, you know. So uh, and you know he wouldn't listen to anything because he doesn't even listen. It's not like he's not listen. Like it's not like he's ignoring you. But that question of listening only doesn't come. You're just you're there, and he's very exacting. Like he'll just make you do whatever he has in plan whatever he has in mind and so in that process your body is breaking he has no clue so <laughs> so so i remember that uh, during uh i think so many nights i would come crying that's when i would come crying to the moms and i'd be like oh you know everything is aching oh, daddy is making me do this and i would cry and cry and cry and then they would you know i think the way they pampered me then is something that i'll never forget like you know drawing you know like a bath with like salt and they just dip me in there they're like here you'll feel better or you know they were always there so uh, that's something i cannot forget and that's what made you the hard task uh, thing you know then ultimately you come out such a you know talented person i'm sure all that makes you the person that you are today and uh, <laughs> i can understand how tough it is it's behind the camera or behind the stage that we know the reality it's not that easy all that shines or all that looks is not that you know all that gold and glitter so uh, what about you uh, bhavna yeah yeah mini <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i didn't do it. i think uh... For me, I think uh, it will definitely, uh, all that Bhavna said is applies here as well for me, of course, because even I went through the same thing. But uh, one standout moment will be when my son was born and you're so lost because you're just a new mom. And then that's when both the moms being there to help me through those initial first uh, few months to understand what it is. You have a newborn in your arms and it's like, Oh, this thing has come out of me. Okay, now what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> and then what you're supposed to do with this, that's when what your moms kind of like teach you, not exactly teach you, but help you understand what that is. And that's when you really uh, feel like you need your mother at that point to help you understand what is this motherhood, this child, how to take care of them. And first few months they were here with me and uh, they helped me through that process. And uh, that, I think, is a very special moment uh, uh, for me in my life, uh, definitely. You know, just them being there, helping me through the first few months of the process. Uh, Radha Mami was there even before uh, Arjun was born. She spent the last two months before that, I think, with me. So that also, that entire thing is a very special experience, I, I feel, like with moms. Beautiful, lovely, really uh, emotional, and you can never forget uh, some things in your life. They're always in your heart. And yeah. Uh, so I think last uh, but not the least, I would like to have a message from all of you for the audience around this time, the pandemic. And there are a lot of comments which I cannot read all of them. Sandeep Ji is saying Happy Mother's Day, which is Sandeep Marwa, Sushma Rao has commented, Shloka has commented, Sunita has commented. 
I can't read all their comments, but uh, I mean, uh, Sandeep ji is saying that uh, Kaushalya ji and Radha ji, I would like to invite you to my institute someday. Sandeep Marwa ji is the AFT uh, Marwa Studios uh, owner and uh, fashion designing school, AFT school. So he's liking the program a lot. So this goes to all of you, a message to the audience. Kaushalya ji, can we have the message? I hope I'm audible. Can you hear me? I think Kaushalya mommy is muted. She's muted. Okay, she's on mute. So maybe yeah. uh, Yamini, you can uh, start with the message. No, I think they're fine now. Okay, uh, can you hear us, uh, Kaushalya ji? I think uh, they're not able to hear me, probably. Yamini, can you hear? Are you yes, I can. I can hear you. Yeah, now, now we can hear you. Yeah, Kaushala ji, can you hear me? I can hear you. Audible? Can you hear me? Yeah. So, a message to the audience from you. The motherhood is the most beautiful uh, thing that is that happens to a baby, and it's. Uh, I think uh, it. We have, I really enjoyed being mother, uh, like uh, yeah, I mean, I was also very tomboyish, but it changed my whole uh, persona. So I would say that Mother's Day is the most beautiful and the wonderful day that I always enjoy sharing it with all the mothers on this earth. Beautiful. Very well said. And Radhaji, would you like to also say something on Mother's Day, a message to the audience? My sister said same to you. <laughs> okay, okay. I have so same, Yamini? Uh, same feeling. I have the same feeling, same words. Yeah. So beautiful. Uh, actually, Yeah, amazing. Amazing. And uh, Yamini, can you hear? Yeah, I, I can hear you, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I would like to tell everyone that uh, as a working mom, you can do everything. You don't have to give up on your dreams just because you have a child. You can definitely pull it together. You can work hard. You can achieve anything you want if you set your mind to it. And uh, it's a very beautiful thing to be able to have a family and to be able to pursue your career. So go ahead, strive for both things. Uh, don't let anything set you back and just go and soar and fly high. That's it. Lovely. Great message. And Sonia Bolani is here. My sister is saying it's a very interesting session and I'm really enjoying it. She generally uh, comes very rarely on the show to watch it. So I'm glad she's also enjoying the show. And... Uh, uh, what about you? Do you have a message uh, also to give Yamini? Um, yeah, Bhav, Bhav, yeah. <laughs> actually, I read something really interesting this morning. Um, it, uh, it, you know, there's just a small thing on uh, somebody, I don't know who wrote it, but four pieces of cake, five members in the family, and the mom mm -hmm. says, I don't like cake. Yes, so, I read this too, very touching. I think thanks to all the moms in the world, uh, there's like all us children are able to do whatever we set our mind to. So I'm so happy, uh, and uh, and it's 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 a blessing. And there's you can never undermine the value of a mother. True, true, true. We are all grateful to our lovely moms, and uh, thank you for being here on the show. It's been a real pleasure and honor hosting the Ready family. Talented, beautiful, charming, lovely. So it was a real honor, and uh, have a wonderful Mother's Day celebration. May God bless us all, and we may we come up stronger after the epidemic, this pandemic, and we all stay safe and secure at home. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Day. Happy Mother's yeah. Day, everybody. Cheers. Bye.